going to divert now briefly from our uh, regularly scheduled program for me to share with you a couple of impossible objects. I find these things very cool. Our first one is this impossible bottle. Uh, it's got a sealed deck of playing cards inside this milk bottle. No joke. It's a sealed deck of cards in there. Can you see that? Now, if you know anything about building uh, or working with glass, you know that you couldn't possibly build this bottle around that deck because uh, of the heat. It would melt the uh, sealed uh, deck. It would melt the, uh, the, the cards, I mean, burn the cards, and it would melt the plastic there of the seal. So you couldn't build this around the deck. So it actually did go right in through there. And uh, that's why it's called an impossible object. Uh, David Blaine, autographed by David Blaine. This is the Split Spades deck. And it's just a very cool item. I, I really like it. It's got some information here, so uh, let me read that for you. There were only, uh, well, uh, there's the information here. I was going to talk about it. but it, uh, This is a limited edition official anything is possible bottle. There were only 44 of these made, and I have one of them. With this extremely limited, handmade, anything is possible collectible bottle, the impossible becomes possible, as you can see here. Uh, this very real, very solid deck of signed David Blaine split spades uh, cards has been placed inside the bottle through the neck by fellow magician Jamie D. Grant exclusively for Phantasma Magic of New York City. For reals. Uh, this amazing work of art, and it is a, a wonderful work of art in my opinion, is guaranteed to use an authentic Avalon milk bottle. That's what this is. This is an authentic Avalon milk bottle, which I find cool. Um, that has not been cut or built around the deck. Neither the deck uh, I mean, neither the neck nor the bottom of the bottle has been removed and reattached. It is just as you see it. So, uh, nothing reattached there. Uh, David Blaine, a Guinness record holder, wants you to enjoy this bottle not just as a conversation piece, but to inspire you next time you've given an impossible challenge or an insurmountable task. There's real magic in all of us. Find yours. So yeah, this is the impossible bottle. It's a cool item. I have another Jamie D. Grant bottle here, and this is with a regular uh, pack of bicycle playing cards. Same, uh, same thing, same idea. It's a legit deck in there. Can you see that? It's, it's sealed, right? It's got the cellophane around it, and yet there it is inside the bottle. It's, 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 it's cool. It's crazy. I, I love it. I love these impossible objects. I wanted to show you another impossible object. I usually keep this uh, inside a shadow box here, but because of the glare, I wanted to uh, take it out so you could see it better. Uh, and I, I, I will build these and give them away as gifts because I think this is really neat. It's a, a playing card, but look at the way it's cut and folded there. That's, you know, what? It's like an impossible, it's an impossible object, right? So uh, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, as you can see, uh, look look carefully there. How's that possible? Anyway, I find this pretty cool, and like I said, I keep it in this uh, shadow box here, like this, so it's a nice presentation. But that's pretty cool. So this and my impossible bottles here, I wanted to share that stuff with you. I know uh, some people nowadays, after Jamie D. Grant uh, started making these, I, I think there are a couple of people who make. Uh, you know, put playing cards inside um, milk bottles like this. But this is the original. This is uh, Jamie D. Grant, the impossible bottle. And it's uh, really cool with that rare spi uh, split spades and David Blaine deck in there uh, autograph. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, pretty cool stuff, right? Yeah.